Right then, so this video, like I said, uh, goes back to February of this year, 2020. We're all going to remember that one, aren't we? Um, but before all that happened, um, I was deciding whether to jack it in with this car or not because it needed a lot of work. Um, I'd bought a lot of new interior for it to try and get a bit of mojo going and uh, save the project, which kind of worked. But the back end was sagging still and the bearings were all knackered. So uh, there was only one thing for it and it was either pay somebody to do it, which I couldn't really afford, um, or get a really good jack and some jack stands and do it that way. So that's what I did. And I created this video as more of a help video really. So if you're in the same boat and you don't know what to do or how to do it, um, you could follow this and hopefully it'll show you all the steps and I'm assuming that this will work for a uh, Mark II Escort or Mark I Escort because they're all leaf springs so or probably anything really so let's get in the uh, way back machine go all the way back to February and uh, hope you enjoy it there's a part two coming along soon but yeah here you go Okay, so you join me today removing the rear axle from my Mark III Capri. It's a gear just refitted, all this nice gear interior. But I've been ignoring the problem, which seems to be the differential. So I thought I'd make this video just in case it helps anybody out. Uh, I've never done this before or anything like this. So here we go. Let's see how it goes. I'm following the uh, Haynes manual, chapter eight, rear axle. There we go, mine's this one here. Oh, there we go, the Atlas axle. And this is the section here. So I have actually got the car raised up already on the uh, on the axle stands on the axle, as I thought it was going to be half shaft bearings, but I mean, I've been told in the past it was the, the diff. So I'm just going to go with that and bite the bullet. And yeah, so it looks like um, I need to jack it up on the body and support the axle and then I'm just going to undo I've already gone round and undone uh, loosened everything off slightly just to make sure I can actually do this job so you've got to undo the the bolts on the, the dampers the four bolts on each U-bolt either side uh, and these anti-roll uh, bar uh, bolts and then the pinion bolts here now you've got to mark that which i haven't done yet i'm going to spray across it and then dot punch it so when it goes back together it's on uh it's in the right place uh, i'm also going to try and mark where the bolts went as well so so it's not out of balance when it goes back together and then the only other thing is the uh the rear brake line i've got to undo that and clamp that uh and also the handbrake cable I've also got some new uh, suspension coming, so I'm going to put it on 2.8 springs, so I'll be taking the springs off anyway, but I'm probably just going to try and lower it out the back and then lower it slowly with the trolley jack. This should make your life easier as I'm working on my own. And then once this is gone, hopefully to the workshop, I can spend some time getting these bolts out because I'm going to put it on 2.8 springs anyway. Uh, yeah, so wish me luck. I'm going to start off by trying out uh, because the last thing I couldn't undo was the pinion bolts. So I'm going to try and loosen them and I'm going to mark that up. Then I'm going to jack it up on the body, which I was a bit nervous about because it looks a little bit rusty. But we'll hope for the best. Let's see how we go. So I've dot punched the flange either side and I've also painted a white line across both flanges to line up when it comes back in.
Okay, so uh, next I'm going to undo the brake line and try and catch it in here. Probably won't use it again because it's got a bit of water in it. And I'm also going to try and clamp that down a little bit better, maybe, and, and bung it up so it's going to be a bit of a trial and error. Uh, this is going to need replacing this brake line, it's all got twisted. some tape over that. I'm just have to redo this. Re redo the brake fluid once it's done because I guess it's going to be a week. Uh, next is to undo these. So got that bolt out there. There it is. Just going to try and get this out. There we go. I'm going to put that bolt in there so I can find it later. So next up are these two bolts here. You might not be able to see it, it's getting a bit dark. Now these are 14 mil it seems. So let's have a look at this. These bolts connect the rear um, stabiliser arm. Coming away quite easily. I did listen these up before, so that's probably why. Okay, so you joined me on a new day. Kind of lost uh, the light there yesterday. So the last thing I did was undid the, these guys here, this bracket, on the other side as well, shock absorbers off. Just uh, the last thing is these four bolts, 16 mil bolts. Um, a bit too deep by the looks of it to get a socket on, but I'm gonna give it a go. Uh, yeah, these ones can snap apparently, so let's see how it goes. So the next thing to do is to undo the leaf springs at the back and then I can ease the axle out off these axle stands with a trolley jack, hopefully. Or at least, yeah, get it somewhere out easier and bring it out sideways. Okay, so 215mm bolt, one here, and then one up there. And I just did the other side, so you can see it fell off pretty easily, so let's see if this does the same. 